Okay, I admit it. I'm a big Star Wars fan. So what did I do? I went and 3D printed my own C-3PO. So I've been wanting to do this for a little while. So I went out and bought a 3D printer and then I downloaded some files and I printed C-3PO right here at 95%. So I printed multiple parts separately, glued them together, sanded as best as I could, primed it, painted it, made a frame and assembled it. And here we have it. So the process took about four or five weeks uh, with my printer going pretty much non-stop the entire time. It took about six, seven rolls of filament. So once I had all the parts printed, I sanded them and assembled them uh, using glue and a welder, a plastic welder. Uh, it's a little device which uh, heats up a staple and essentially injects the staple into the plastic or melts it in and then you give it a little bit of a twist and it holds it into place uh, and then you release it. So that really helped the glue to adhere and uh, give it more strength. Because I'm not wearing this, I doubt I could fit into it. I wanted it more as a display piece uh, in my office or uh, the house. So what I had to do then was make a PVC frame so what I did is I went down to the hardware, bought all the PVC parts, uh, glued it all together, assembled it, and then put the suit together over the top of that frame. Now the suit was a bit loose on the frame, so I had to pad the inside. I essentially used pool noodles um, to give it some cushioning and to make it a tight fit inside. I then um, had to get some plastic area here from my local hardware store as well. So that part isn't entirely finished. I've got to get some uh, electrical leads and uh, glue them to the top of it just to give him that authentic look. So with the head, there's a few things I'm going to do up here. Um, the eyes are 3D printed as well with a translucent PLA. So I'm in the process at the moment of uh, soldering some LEDs, a motion sensor, which I'd like to put into the mouth, and a voice control box, which I'll program with a, an Arduino. And hopefully, if it's not too annoying, every time he uh, sees motion, he will say, I am C-3PO human cycle relations. Um, that might get a bit old, so I'll need to put an on and off switch there as well. So I also need to finish off his arms as well. There's some uh, extra parts that go on his arms or the inside of the arms. To finish those off, I'll need to get some round aluminium uh, to create the slide mechanism for his arms. He's also got his communicator, which is from the trash compactor scene where Leia, Luke and Han tell C-3PO to turn off all the trash compactors. that in his hand just here. I also have a uh, droid restraining bolt that I 3D printed. Little magnets will go in here and I'll have some magnets up here that will also pop into there. That way he can't run away. So what I should do talk about is the painting and priming. I got all the parts together after I printed them, put them all on my clothesline and primed them, then sprayed them with gloss black. And then once that had dried, I sprayed it with gold. Um, it's not the best paint job in the world, but uh, I'm giving that weathered Tatooine look. The base plate, I might actually put some uh, PVA wood glue mixed with some sand to give him that sort of uh, walking in sand look. There's a few little uh, screws and bolts in the arm, so they're, they're actually hinges. So uh, if I pull that frame out of there, those arms do go backwards and forwards. So visitors get a bit of a shock when they come in, or if I'm in a Teams meeting, it's always a talking point. Uh, my next project hopefully will be a R2D2 to, to go with him, um, but I've still got to find some decent files. There's some out there, uh, but I've yet to find some really good ones. I've got a few contacts that want two or three, so I'm actually printing one right now in the studio. I'll be able to build a lot quicker than I was able to with the first one. I've ironed out all the bugs. So yeah, I really enjoyed making this and it's sort of become an addiction. I might even think about printing out all the other droids um, from Star Wars. 
not the prequels or the sequels, the original trilogy, of course. It's a sensitive topic. We don't talk about them. <laughs>